Hey everyone, Alice here with another reading for you. Uh, this time it's going to be about who's coming towards you. And I've kind of divided it up into elemental signs. So this is for any air signs. So that would be Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So this is who is coming towards you. I mean, I'm not breaking new ground here. This is, this is a pretty common question. Um, I don't know, I woke up today and this is just kind of what was on my mind and what I thought that I should do. So I'm doing a video on it. Um, yeah, so we're going to find out this person that's coming towards you, what their energy is like. We're going to find out more about who this person is, what do they want, um, how they feel about you, perhaps how you feel about them and what their intentions are. Oh my gosh, I have to sneeze. <laughs> ah, sorry. Oh my gosh. Um, good luck sneeze. Yeah. <laughs> is that what it is? I'm going to call it a good luck sneeze. So good luck. You get good luck. Yeah. You got good luck. You got two good luck sneezes. Okay. Or it's just allergies. Who knows? <laughs> uh, this reading is timeless. Whenever you find it is when you were meant to find it. Um, there could be some messages in here for you. Uh, remember, this is a general reading, so not everything is going to resonate. So take what does, leave what doesn't, don't try to force it. Uh, you can check out your other elemental signs if you, or if any video that you feel called to, there can be messages in there for you as well. All right, so let's start. Let's find out for you, Air. Air, Air. Ah, it feels weird to call you air. Um, I'm going to think of something. What What's an airy sounding name? That's not too like on the nose. An airy sounding name. So I can call it to you. Call that to you. Julia. I don't know why Julia sounds very airy to me. I'm going to call you Julia. Don't know why. Or air signs, whatever. Anyways, we're going to find out what your person, or your person, the person who's coming towards you, what energy are they going to be in when they come towards you? Air signs, aka Julia. Whoa, whoa, okay. They're sad. <laughs> okay, they're just sad. They are sad. That wanted to really come out. Okay. All right, what other, what other energies is this person in when they come towards you? Air signs. Oh, that is a billion fucking cards. Having your cake and eating it too? Pretending. We'll keep that in mind. Um... This deck sometimes, <laughs> because I made it, uh, I may make it available at some point, um, can be slippery. Okay. Stuck. Stuck. Stuck, stuck, stuck. I feel like they think that they're stuck, but they're not actually stuck. I get a lot of like uh, Eight of Swords energy there. You know, thinking that you're restricted, but you like you're thinking that you can't do anything, but you totally can do something. Um, this can be also feeling physically stuck. Um, maybe it's temporary. Uh, it can be, I mean, yeah, we're all in this sort of pandemic shit, but I mean, even aside from that, it can be maybe somebody uh, has had their license taken away from them or I don't know, their car is broken or needs to be fixed or something or other. So they can be temporarily feeling stuck, you know, that type of deal. Or maybe they were supposed to go somewhere and their plans got canceled and now they're sad. And oh my gosh, and now they're calling on you because their plans are canceled. Ooh. I mean, that can be a scenario. Let's see. Let's see what other energy this person is in when they come towards you. Julia, aka Air. Oh, 
definitely that ASMR shuffling. Oh. Yes, sweetheart in reverse. Um, usually sweetheart is the significator card, your card. Um, so they might feel like there's some beef between you. Um, that there's something wrong with you <laughs> like not that there's something wrong with you but from their perspective um they may feel like maybe you're not talking to them or something or maybe they feel like they wronged you in some way or that you did something that made them sad i don't know that maybe you offended them in some way unintentionally i i don't know there's just the uh, your energy is there with them let's find out what other energy? I said that weird. I said oot. Oot. Like a fucking Canadian. <laughs> okay. Let's find out what other energy. I am Canadian. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Let's find out what other energies are going on. Your person. When they come towards you. Not your per- You know what I mean. The person that is coming towards you. This person, this sad stuff person who isn't really stuck. Okay. Uh, C9, GG. Okay, we got three cards here. Uh, this person feels like they. Uh, it is a bit of stuckness, but this person kind of feels like they're stuck in a situation that they're unable to leave a situation and they just kind of want peace like um what's the word uh, like it's not like a peace offering it kind of is what's the fucking word like compromise kind of thing like they just kind of want to compromise on a situation um But they're they're kind of just keeping an eye on the situation. I don't feel like they're participating in a situation. So like this ha this probably has to do with you. It could be that oh they might have felt like either you or I almost feel like they think that you made a mistake. Like it feels like they're blaming you for something. Yeah, I get the impression here that they feel like you did something, that you did or said something to this person, that you offended them in some way, um, and it's like, it's like they're, they're waiting for an apology? It can be, it can be, excuse me, the other way around as well. It can be that your person, or this person, um, feels like this person made a mistake, but they don't really feel like it was a mistake. Um, but they want to kind of... What's the word? It's not like clear the air, but it's like they just kind of want to make peace with the situation. Um, but they're just kind of keeping an eye on it. I don't feel like they're doing any action um, with it. They're just kind of, they're kind of waiting on you to see what you're going to do. Like, I feel like they're expecting an apology from you. Like, it almost, like, it feels like that. It feels like they're just waiting for an apology from you for a mistake that's, like, like you know, so that you can... Oh my god, I can't speak today. Jeez. <laughs> like, I know what I want to say, but I just can't find the fucking words. Like, I can't find the expressions that I want to say. Like, they just want you to make things better. Like, they want you to apologize for something that you did. I mean, it's not exactly what I want to say, but, I mean, it's close enough. Um, yeah. Because they're, they're sad. They, their feelings are hurt. And it almost feels like they feel like they can't move on until, like, they get this sort of apology. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's see. How are they coming in? How is this person coming in towards you, Error? air signs how is this person coming towards you um we have 
of fish. Fish, fish, fish. And we have scythe. Fish is like a lot. It's like abundance. And scythe is like something that ends very quickly. Um, I wouldn't say it's like ending a lot of things quickly. I mean, that is like how you would say it. Kind of. I mean, sometimes fish can talk about money, but I'm not really getting money here. Mm. It can be like, it can mean like they're coming in very fast, like very suddenly. Um, because the scythe is about like something that's very quick, like just just gets cut off just very quickly. Um, so the way that they're coming in, it can be it can be like a lot of small, like not small things, but a lot of like quick, quick, quick things. Like, uh, like I don't know. Like that's really weird, right? <laughs> I mean, if they're like like let's say they're messaging you. It can be, like, the way that I'm picturing it is, like, somebody who isn't really saying, like, full sentences. They're just saying a lot of, like, small things, like, really small things, like, quick in quick succession. So, like, let's say if they're messaging you, it's, like, they're just going to be, like, one or two word messages that are coming in, like, quickly. Like, da -da 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 -da. like that's kind of how it feels. Like, even, it can't even be, like, one line at a time, like, or one message at a time, possibly. Um, but it's just, yeah, it's very, like, da -da 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 -da. like, very quick, and there's, like, a lot of it. It can be in tweets, even, too, like, like, something that is kind of, it's, it's a lot, and it's sudden. <laughs> so that's how they're coming towards you. Um... Yeah, just a lot of like. Du, 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 du. I'm trying to think of like an example. Like I, I'm, I'm trying to like think of as many examples as I can to kind of explain what that means. Um. Uh, what else? It can be like. It can like if they're calling you. Like, who calls people on the phone? But if they're calling you on the phone, it can be, like, a lot of calls and maybe they might leave, like, a lot of, like, messages, but, like, a lot of, like, short and to the point messages. Or, like, I mean, even just in texting, it's, like, a lot of to the point and short texts and messages. Like, I'm not, I'm not thinking it's really long, uh, long shit. You know what I mean? I hope you understand what I'm talking about. But that's that's like how how they're coming in. Okay. Let's move on. So let's let's move on and see. You know, let's find out more about this person. I'm just gonna move some of this around. So we have some space here. Like I feel like they have some beef with you. Um that's my feeling, but we'll see. So who's coming towards you? Let's find out more. Okay. Page of Cups. Huh. This person... This person maybe acts kind of childish sometimes. They probably wear their heart on their sleeve. They're somebody who is driven by their emotions. Um, <laughs> I could explain why they kind of think, you know, easily offended, I would say. Um, yeah, uh, somebody who can be a little moody, like their moods are up and down. Um, 
somebody who uh, I'm not really getting that like usually this card means a crush or infatuation I'm not really getting that I mean yes they probably care about you um, but I'm not like getting this as somebody who has like a crush on you um, it, it can be but I, I'm getting it's more that they are just somebody who is quite kind of emotional and that they can be easily offended I mean that like I feel like the sadness the sad mood probably isn't anything quite new this person is up and down they're quite moody their moods change like they change as often as like you know the fucking what I don't know what the saying is as often as like the day and changes to night or whatever this person <laughs> this person is very emotional basically and that they can be set off quite easily so uh yeah i'm i'm not surprised if this person thinks that you offended them in some way and they're here now ex waiting for you to apologize and they're like i can't move on until julia apologizes to me um for something that you know like i like, here's what i get i feel like you don't even know what you said to them you said something or did something that offended this person and you don't even know what you did because that's what I get with this card here with the c9 card here the c9 card is about um making a mistake but it's like in reverse so it's like you may have made a mistake that you're not even aware of and now they're expecting they're waiting for an apology from you and you just don't even know what the fuck you did and so now this person is probably being a little passive aggressive and sending you like these these short messages and you're like what the fuck is this and they're just sending you a lot of them like well we'll find out let's see who is this person coming towards you uh high priestess in reverse ten of coins in reverse nine of swords four of wands king of wands three of swords in reverse i feel that ten of wands in reverse queen of wands in reverse and the queen of cups oh yes this person has a lot of emotions this person is quite emotional they can be empathic in some way and definitely their feelings were hurt their feelings were hurt on some level what was this nine of swords and it's just it's something like they it's on their mind and they can't let go of it it's just something like they're just it's stuck on their mind um this person this person usually i feel like gets what they want they're that type of person um uh they they, they might have a bit of a temper oops a little temper on them here with the queen of wands in reverse um is this somebody who pretends like they don't know about shit but they fucking know like they may pretend um that things are fine so if like you ask them like you know are you okay or like what's going on they're just like oh yeah i'm fine it's like no you're fucking not you, you're overburdened you feel overwhelmed and it's pissing them off um this is somebody who is insecure um that's why they they kind of act they have like a front um they might you know appear confident and um, pretend that you know that they're all that but they're actually insecure and they think about that a lot um yeah yeah oh I, what's the below what's your overall I didn't even look at yours yeah your overall is like you're kind of tired of it to be honest this eight of coins in reverse all I get from this is yeah, I'm kind of tired of working on this shit. <laughs> you feel a little overworked by this person. They can be just demanding. Quite demanding and you're just kind of tired of that. Hmm. Okay. Alright, let's see. How does this person feel about you? How does this person feel about you? How does this person really feel about you? Because they're offended, but I feel like this is all very surface level. 
Um, it's just that they're used to getting what they want. Um, and it's a little bit of an act, you know. So how do they really feel about you? How do they really feel about you, Julia, aka Air Signs? Justice, Page of Wands, Two of Swords. Oh, they might actually be attracted to you in some way. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> they actually are attracted to you. Oh, okay. They actually do have some feelings for you. What the fuck? Okay. Well, maybe they do have a crush on you. Eh, okay. I guess they do have a crush on you. <laughs> page of Wands or Page of Cups in reverse. Okay. Okay. This person, this person likes you. Uh, but um, they feel like it's unrequited love here. Um, definitely. This person thinks that you don't like them. That it's not reciprocated. Um, they are attracted to you. They don't really know why they like you so much, but they feel drawn to you. Um, it feels right to them. Um, you feel right to them, but they don't know how you feel about them. Um, they feel that they're, that things are kind of in a stalemate between you, like, um, they feel like they can't make a decision on you because they don't know how you feel. Um, they also don't feel like, like, they kind of want... They don't, they feel like they don't have any closure with you because they don't know how you feel. Um, and that like things are just kind of stuck. They're not really moving forward. Uh, yeah. So their overall energy here at the Page of Cups in Reverse, they do act childish. I mean, we, I mean, I see that in the fucking energy. Um, they are a bit childish here. Uh, but yeah, they're, <laughs> yeah, they, uh. They really like you. Oh, dude, they like you a lot. They have a lot of feelings for you. Okay. And they feel, they feel that you guys almost, I wouldn't say like that you belong together, but they do feel like you're the right person for them. And they're, they're quite, they're attracted to you. Yeah. They just don't know where they stand. Here, they don't know where you stand. They don't know where they stand with you. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. How do you feel about them? How do you feel about them? Julia. Or air signs. How do you feel about this person? Get one good shuffle in. There we go. How do you feel about this person? Okay. Five of Swords, the Hermit in reverse, Nine of Swords, Knight of Wands, Ten of Wands in reverse, Ten of Cups in reverse, Six of Wands in reverse. The Tower and the Two of Swords. And we have the Fool. I feel like you have feelings here as well. Um, but for you, it feels like um, this person is a bit of a burden for you. Um, not like they're a burden, but you kind of just really don't know what to do. Sort of. Sort of. It's not really that. I'm kind of paraphrasing a lot of this um so how you feel towards them you're realizing some things about them um some things that you're you're trying to ignore because it's too overwhelming for you to kind of like process right now so that's why you're not really making any decisions because 
it has to do about whether you even are considering about being with this person or not. Like, I feel like you do want to be with this person on some level, but there, there's something going on here within you that you're realizing, like, there's a big sort of change here, like a rude awakening that um, is causing you to feel very overwhelmed in the situation and you're just kind of ignoring it. Like, you're trying to ignore it. You're trying not to pay attention to it. And instead, you're kind of acting in a way that is kind of like an asshole. So I kind of feel like this person, the person that's coming towards you, um, how they feel offended. Like, you did something. It kind of looks like you did. Uh, that you did act in a way that was a little bit um, self-serving towards you. I don't know if you realize this or not. Because it seems like um, that it has something to do with perhaps you were listening to other people that you might have gotten some bad advice from somewhere else and that's why you were acting that way and it's just seemed to have caused a bit more problems here with you and this person um that yeah that's kind of it's been on your mind it's kind of been stressing you out this whole sort of like high this issue here with um you know whether you want to like not being in a relationship with this person or not yeah, like this sort of not being in a this sort of brokenness of this connection with with this person has been stressing you out it's it is what i'm trying to say here i feel overall you kind of want a new beginning with this person um you feel like you want to kind of start over with this person um that you just kind of want a fresh start that's what I see here and how you feel about this person. Uh, yeah, take whatever resonates. Um, you know, leave what doesn't. Just know that, that the, the person that you're, that this person that's coming towards you, this person likes you. So let's see what their intentions are. What is What are their intentions of the person that's coming towards you? What are their intentions? And we'll wrap this up for you. What is this person's intentions towards you, air signs? Okay, we have three of wands in reverse, three of coins in reverse, the sun, okay, empress in reverse. Chariot in reverse, the Fool in reverse, Queen of Cups, Ace of Wands, Four of Swords, and then Ten of Swords. Um, this person, this person, um, first of all, their overall energy here is this Ten of Swords. This, in this deck, this is brutal. Uh, the Ten of Swords here is just feeling betrayed, feeling backstabbed, like, it is... In this deck, it's a brutal card. This person feels a lot of pain um, with you, but their intentions here seem to be sound, I will say. They want to move forward with you. They want to progress with you. They, um, You make them happy. They have happiness with you, but they feel like they're kind of, you're not working together, that you're not on the same page when it comes to where you want things to go with this connection, um, that they are playing it a little safe. Um, they're not really talking a lot to like, they're, they're being quite quiet and they're not wanting to start anything right now because they just, they I just feel like they're, they're playing it safe. They won't want to take any big chances here. They have a lot of feelings here. They they do intend to, like, their intentions are that they do want to share with you. They want to share how they feel with you. Um, but right now, they feel like they need to delay that and they have to be kind of closed off towards you um, because they don't know where they stand. They, they don't feel like you're on the same page as them when it comes to moving forward. Um, yeah. So... I mean, I feel like your person, or your person, this person that's coming towards you, um, they do, they do want, like, I think the most thing here is that they kind of want to get past this pain and move forward because they do, you do make them happy. 
Um, they're just, I feel like they're a little shy here. Like they're wanting to play things safe. They're kind of keeping a little closed mouth. Um, uh, but they do want to express or share, you know, how they feel. They do, like when I say that, like they want to be emotionally intimate with you in some capacity, but they're holding back. Um, okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to get you some advice. Some guidance and or, or advice here. I'm feeling that. So let's get some guidance and or advice for you, air signs. that was it kind of landed weird and under my arm which was weird okay <laughs> two of cups the world and death um let's do this as well or the queen of swords which actually i'll just i'll stick this over here okay Okay, well, here's your advice here from the universe. So, I feel like what you need to keep in mind here is there is a, uh, a connection here. There's an important connection here between you. Um, it's something that... What's... How do I put this? Um... It's something that could easily be taken for granted. Um, so I feel like you need to keep that in mind. You need to keep in mind that um, there is a significant connection here. Um, or it can just be about reconciliation, you know, coming together. But it's like, um, it can easily be taken for granted. Uh, I think what needs to happen, I feel like what the problem here is that there is no closure. Um, nothing is like, like the, the cycle is kind of open. They, there's like unfinished business here and it's because it's like, it can be you possibly if you kind of got your guard up a little bit or you're, um, kind of on the defense, like you're, you know, you're, you're trying to like protect yourself, like stand up for yourself and it's kind of causing things to perhaps you know, not be finished. Um, I feel like the direction here, um, where that this can be go to, uh, I feel like there is something that needs to be let go of in order for there to be this sort of comfortable, like this comfortableness between you and this person. There's something that um, somebody is it, probably you. Um, you're holding on to something that you don't want to let go of, and it's preventing this, um, like this comfortableness. This the ten of coins is feeling secure and feeling comfortable in this sort of with this person. You know, you know, being it's like how I describe it. It's like oh, you can fart in front of this person um, type of feeling. Um, I feel like you're holding back. You're holding on to something that you need to let go. Something that is not serving you anymore and you're just afraid to let it go. Um, yeah, I feel like overall with the Queen of Swords, um, it can be that perhaps there maybe needs to be a little bluntness here. I mean, maybe there needs to be, maybe you guys need to be a little bit more direct with each other um yeah i mean the queen of swords is somebody who tells it like it is um she's quite she doesn't mince her words type of thing and perhaps that's what ne is needed here um in this sort of connection between you and this person that's coming in um yeah so there's your reading air signs so that is 
Gemini, uh, Libra, and Aquarius. Um, I hope that you found that helpful or insightful in any way. If you did, I'd appreciate if you could like and or subscribe. That helps me to do more with the channel. Um, yeah, so take care. Good luck with this, and I hope you have a good day or good night wherever you are, and I will talk to you later. Bye!